When we gaze up at the vast, expansive cosmos, we see countless stars, but one star stands out, dominating our sky and shaping our lives, the sun. It burns brightly and ferociously at the center of our solar system. Throughout history, humans created legends to explain its mesmerizing glow. Now, with advanced technology, we can explore the sun's intricate processes in unprecedented detail. I'm Alex McColgan, and welcome to Worldview Theory. In this video, we'll delve into the sun, using different wavelengths of electromagnetic energy to reveal the star in a new light. Unlike our previous exploration of Jupiter and its moons, today, we'll focus on a highly energetic ball of plasma, the sun. The light we're examining is not in real time, it's around 8 minutes and 20 seconds old when we see it from Earth. If we consider the time it takes for photons from the sun's core to reach us, the light is anywhere from 10,000 to 170,000 years old. Let's start our journey by investigating the outermost layer of the sun's atmosphere, the corona. Using the Solar Dynamics Observatory satellite, NASA captured an image of the corona in extreme ultraviolet light, revealing its higher region at a temperature of 1 million Kelvin. The corona, visible during a total solar eclipse, also plays a vital role in scientific studies. Moving deeper, we encounter solar flares, intense events with temperatures reaching 20 million Kelvin. These colossal explosions occur when magnetic fields within the sun rapidly distort and reorganize. We also explore coronal holes, cooler areas in the sun's atmosphere that allow solar wind particles to escape into space, creating mesmerizing auroras on Earth. Beyond the visible spectrum, we discover solar prominences, enormous loops of plasma that can stretch hundreds of thousands of kilometers into space. The sun even experiences coronal rain where charged plasma falls back to its surface. Additionally, coronal mass ejections pose a threat, sending billions of tons of plasma into space, potentially impacting satellites and electrical grids. Using different wavelengths of non-visible light, we compare images of the sun's corona at 600,000 Kelvin and 2 million Kelvin, revealing contrasting features. As we journey inward, we explore the transition region, where the sun's temperature dramatically rises. Further down, we reach the chromosphere, the sun's last atmospheric layer before the surface. Imaging the sun's surface in visible light, we observe sunspots, cooler areas caused by powerful magnetic fields. The photosphere, although appearing solid, is composed of plasma, making up 99.9% .9 of the universe's matter. We learn about solar granules, churning cells with supersonic flows and spicules, long jets of plasma rising from the sun's surface. Our exploration ends here, as current technology limits our ability to image deeper into the sun. However, using various spectrums of light has allowed us to uncover the sun's lively activities, showcasing features like solar flares, coronal holes, spicules, sunspots, and solar granules. Although much of the sun's deeper layers remain mysterious, the diversity of imaging techniques excites our curiosity. Perhaps future advancements will reveal more secrets hidden within the sun. Until then, appreciating the unseen wonders of the universe fills us with excitement and wonder. If you've ever wished to witness these sun features, the upcoming total solar eclipse on April 8, 2024, offers a rare opportunity. Ensure you have proper eye protection, and our video is sponsored by VC Solar, providing NASA-approved eclipse glasses for safe viewing. Click the link in the description for a 20% discount on your purchase. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the sun. For more about the sun's corona, check out our related video. A special thanks to our patrons and members, your support is greatly appreciated.
Until next time, take care and stay curious.